That's got to be the best pirate I've ever seen. So it would seem. For today's video, we're going to get some gameplay with the new Bowler Rocket Launcher. The way you get it is from the event store, and it's going to cost you 1680 gold. But before we check out the perks, I do want to check out what else is in the event store. Looks like they're also offering the Skirmisher Edge Ninja, who's a pretty decent abilities focused ninja. I wouldn't say he's better than Dragon Scorch or Shuriken Master, but he is pretty good when it comes to using abilities. We also got Armory slots as well as Legendary Flux. We also got a Haywire, a Gunslinger, some Evolution Materials and Survivors, a Perk Up and Re-Perk, Fleet Foot Ken. We also got a Legendary Farmer's Glory and some Legendary Wall Spikes. So yeah, just wanted to quickly show everybody what they're offering in the store this week. Let's go ahead and check out the perks that came with our bowler. And I'm not sure if the perks are static. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what perks you got on your bowler. But the perks that we have on ours are damage, reload speed, physical damage, durability, damage to stun, staggered and knocked down, and damage dealt with this weapon snares the target by 30% for 6 seconds. And at the very bottom it says flintlock explosive weapon fires cannonballs that damage and knock back groups of enemies. If angled correctly, the cannonballs can bounce before exploding, dealing damage multiple times. Does not consume ammo, but has very low durability. So we'll be sure to bounce those cannonballs off of some floors and walls and test that out. Here we go, Bright Core Bowler, the weapon everybody's been waiting two months for, and now we have it fully maxed out. And before I start changing perks around, I should probably scroll over every slot just to show you the different options. As you can see, you can change the element on it. And one thing that I noticed is that in this last slot, as well as the very first slot, they both have the option to increase damage to miss monsters and bosses. And as of right now, I believe that's the only weapon in the game that has that increased damage to miss monsters and bosses in two different slots. Anyways, we did go ahead and change some of our perks around and we also upgraded a couple of them. But here are the roles that we're gonna use while testing out the bowler. And as for our loadout, we have 8-bit demo in our primary slot, carbide in our support slot, and stars and stripes AC in our tactical slot. And we chose to use 8-bit demo because he has the faster explosions perk, which is gonna increase your explosive weapon reload speed. And he also has enduring machine, which is gonna make your weapon take 60% less durability damage when you're standing on your base. So yeah, in my opinion, the demolitionist constructors are the best heroes when it comes to using explosive weapons. And here are the stats for our bowler. If you take a look at the durability, you can see that it's 15, which means you're gonna be able to get 15 rockets before it breaks and you'll have to craft another. But we should be able to get way more than 15 because we're gonna be playing with 8-bit demo. The mission we're gonna do while testing out this new bowler is this level 100 evacuate the shelter. And we're also gonna be doing it solo. You better go bowling. All right, so before we get into the gameplay, I did wanna test it out against level 100 smashers. And we're gonna try to roll a strike here. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and test it out on the Smasher. Uh, let's see how many rockets it takes to kill him, how much damage we do. Here we go, people. You know, let's try to put a wall behind him and do more damage that way. Cause I, oh, you can, you can do more damage that way. Uh, so it took us four rockets to kill that Smasher. But I think we could have killed him quicker if we put that wall up directly behind him. Because that's going to allow it to do multiple explosions on one target. Let's see if we can find another one real quick. I feel like we could kill him within like maybe one or two hits. And obviously we can do more damage if we change that first slot to increase damage to miss monsters and bosses. Which I think we'll end up doing once we get enough reperk. Uh, keep in mind that our bowler currently does physical damage so... Uh, we will be able to do even more damage against this elemental smasher if we had fire on it. But we're going to go ahead and test it out with physical. See how many rockets it takes to kill him. And we're also going to surround him with some walls. Here we go. Hopefully he doesn't kill us. Oh no. Here we go. Alright, let's shoot it. Just try it slugger. Please don't My kill me. Wait, okay, here we go. Alright, now let's shoot it. Oh no, they broke the wall. I uh, didn't do a whole lot of damage, but that impact is really good. Oh, that last one did a lot of damage because it bounced off those walls. So yeah, I think that's what you're going to want to do with bowlers. You can put a wall behind the mist monster because it's going to help uh, the cannonball hit more surfaces and explode more. 
and you're gonna end up doing more damage that way all right so since it has physical damage let's go ahead and test our uh, wall uh experiment here we go oh wow we just did a crap load of damage we probably could have killed him within two rockets if we had angled it a little bit better but yeah definitely does a lot of damage against miss monsters uh, the reload speed is not too bad again we do have one perk that increases the reload speed but reload speed is not too bad a couple of other things i should point out is that it does not pierce through shielders and the other thing i wanted to point out is that it can cause propane tanks to explode so if you see a sploder walking through your tunnel or if you see some propane tanks laying in your tunnel then you may want to avoid using a bowler because it's going to make it explode all right so obviously with evacuate the shelters uh, we're going to have to go there first and defend it. So let's go ahead and use the bowler while we defend it. And we only have to get... Oh, wait. Three more kills? Oh, is that it? Oh, that was quick. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Who did that? Did you do that? the fuck first it said water now it's saying nature oh my goodness you know we're just gonna use both that's how we're gonna roll oh i hate that guy hey god here they come oh well i guess we're starting here we go people i wasn't really paying attention to the time but uh, we should be all right let's try to stand on our base over here so we get more rockets uh, we do have three defenders helping us out up here since we're playing solo. Uh, we have two riflemen. And uh, one's using a bundle bus. The other's using the tiger. And we have Grandpa using the obliterator. Doing what he normally does. But yeah, we're just going to stand up here on top of our base and Smash spam her. the bowler for the entire defense. Uh, you may have noticed that we did drop back down to 100 and that's because uh in the last video where we did level 109 oh let me upgrade that okay smasher's gone we killed him pretty quick he may have already had some health gone though uh but yeah in the last video oh no oh no let's run i gotta run i was gonna put a wall launcher there but nope oh my goodness let's go heal ourselves before we die and pick up one of our defenders uh, but yeah, in the last video where we had level 109 husk, uh, we had some people say that we should drop back down to level 100 because I spent uh, a large portion of the defense like just rebuilding and repairing because they were destroying everything. So that's why we dropped back down to 100 for this one. So we could just like focus on the weapon instead of like focusing on trying to survive. Uh, but yeah, we got some level 100 smashers. Let's go ahead and test it out. Uh, definitely looks like it does damage when it hits the ground. I'm not sure if the same is true when it hits the wall. Let's see. Yep. It does damage when it comes into contact with any type of wall or floor. Which is good to know. And we just used our first bowler. Uh, Would have lasted a little bit longer if I stayed on our base. Let's go ahead and try to stay on our base for this one. But I think when it comes to the bowler, you're going to want to try to bounce it off of walls and floors. Uh, I did test it out against propanes, and it, it does cause the propane tanks to explode. So if you see propane tanks laying in your tunnel or if you have sploders, uh, you may want to avoid using the bowler because it can cause them to explode. Oh man, we got bees blasters we're gonna have to be careful here uh, the range actually isn't too bad it doesn't go on forever and ever but uh, it's about four or five tiles in length when it comes to the range we actually could have put a pit over here which uh which would have been a good idea let's go ahead and put a launcher there oh we got some down here but yeah, since we're staying on our base now, we should definitely get more than just 15 rockets. I feel like the bowler's really good when it comes to regular husk, husky husk. 
it does some pretty decent damage. I don't know if you're going to want to go for like direct hits. Uh, you may want to try to like hit the ground or wall first. But like even if we try to go for direct hits, e eventually it's going to fall and hit the ground. So that's why I kind of feel like it's better off just going ahead and aiming at the ground. Oh, we just used our second one. Hopefully we can craft another. Let's see. Uh, we're going to have to jump up here first and see if we can craft another. Hopefully we can. Let's see. Yep, we'll go ahead and craft two more just in case. And let's use our decoy. Give us some time to craft it. We actually built with stone and metal because when I spawned in, uh, they said that the husks were going to be water. So that's why I built with metal at first. And then after a couple minutes, they said we were getting nature. So that's why we built with both. But yeah, evidently it turned out to be nature. So they lied to me. Uh, you may have noticed that I'm, I probably sound a little different. I may sound weird. That's because we just purchased a new microphone. And this is our first time using it. So I'm sort of not only testing the bowler, I'm also testing my microphone at the moment. Shoot it, stab it, or fix it. We got trouble. But yeah, I think this is the microphone we're going to use when we start streaming more. Uh, we almost killed that blaster with one cannonball. So it looks like you're going to need to shoot at least twice to kill blasters. But again, if you change that first perk to damage to miss monsters and bosses, you may be able to one-shot them. Uh, that first and that fifth perk. Uh, as soon as we max out all of our perks, we'll try it out. Oh, we need to get back to our base so we get more rockets. Flinger. But yeah, I think... Oh, Pickies is here. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, well, we only got 20 seconds left. We may, we may try to get Cookies in here, too. We may do a, a mission with him. But yeah, that'll do it for our first uh, bowler hey, gameplay. I gotta go see what Cookies needs, man. He says it's urgent. Uh, for those of you who have tried it out, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Overall, in my opinion, it's a really solid rocket launcher. And I would definitely recommend getting it. It's only 1,680 gold. If you do this week's weekly horror challenge, you'll get 1,500 gold from that. So, it doesn't cost a whole lot. You can change the element on it. And I really like how it bounces off of walls and floor. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. Hope y'all found the video useful. And thank you.